Welcome to Reading Out Aloud. Today I am going to read Cinderella from The Princess Tales. The princesses have a special message for all of you boys and girls. Welcome to our fairy tale world. Listen as we tell you our stories and you will see that dreams really do come true. Cinderella also has a special message for you. Here it is. I'm Cinderella. I used to spend all of my time doing chores for my stepmother and stepsisters. Then my fairy godmother taught me to believe in my dreams. Without further ado, we will now read the story of Cinderella. For many years, I lived with just my father. My mother died when I was very young. I missed her, but my father and I were happy. We did everything together, cooking, gardening, taking care of our horses. Every night before bed, he read me a story and told me he loved me. Then one day, my father told me that he planned to remarry. Unfortunately, my new stepmother was not very nice. She had two daughters of her own, Anastasia and Drizilla. They were just as mean as she was. When my father died, my stepmother turned me into her servant. She made me live in the attic and dress in rags. When they saw me all dirty, with my face and hands covered in suit, my stepsisters began to call me Cinderella. My only friends were the birds and the mice who lived in the attic. They kept me company and helped me with my daily chores. In exchange, I protected them from Lucifer, my stepmother's evil cat. All day, I had to obey my stepfamily's orders. My stepmother demanded that I clean the windows. Anastasia made me prepare her breakfast, while Drizella insisted I make her bed. They never let me rest, but they could not stop me from dreaming. One morning, I heard a knock at the door. It was a messenger from the royal palace. There was going to be a ball that night in honor of the prince. The king had decided it was time for his son to find a wife. I asked my stepmother if I could go to the ball, and she agreed, if I finished my chores. For the rest of the day, my stepsisters kept me busy. I finished my chores, but then I had no time to find a dress. I couldn't go to the palace in rags. But my animal friends had a surprise for me. They had turned one of my mother's old dresses into a beautiful gown. When my stepsisters saw me, they were jealous. They destroyed the dress. I ran to the garden, crying. As I cried, an old woman appeared in front of me. I thought I was dreaming. The old woman told me she was my fairy godmother. Using her magic wand, she transformed a pumpkin into a stagecoat, my mouse friends into horses, and my rags into an elegant gown. I was ready for the ball. You must understand, she warned me, on the stroke of twelve the spell will be broken and everything will be as it was before. The ball was everything I dreamed it would be. The prince and I danced together all night. When he knelt in front of me, I felt my heart beating quickly in my chest. I knew then that I loved him. Suddenly, the clock began to strike midnight. I had lost track of time. I had to leave. Wait! I don't even know your name! The prince cried. I mumbled something and ran down the stairs. One of my glass slippers fell off, but I didn't stop. I had barely gotten to the door of the carriage when it turned into a pumpkin. The horses became mice again, and my gorgeous dress returned to being nothing more than rags. The next day, the prince started a search for the woman who had left behind the glass slipper. When he found her, he would ask her to marry him. The slipper was brought to every house in the kingdom. When it arrived at our home, my stepsisters tried to squeeze their feet into it, scrunching up their toes in vain. Finally, it was my turn. My stepmother did not want me to try on the shoe. She tripped the Grand Duke. The slipper fell out of his hands and shattered on the floor. But I had a surprise for my stepmother and the Grand Duke. I took the other slipper out of my pocket and slipped it on my foot. 
The Grand Duke was very pleased to have found the owner of the shoe. He brought me to the castle where the prince and I were married. I have never been happier. Thank you for joining Reading Out Aloud today. I hope you enjoyed today's story. Please like, share, and invite your friends to Reading Out Aloud. Remember to subscribe. New stories are added every day.